Hello, you're live Friday night with Clive. Clivey Poo didn't want to do this video today, but I've talked him into it. How are you, Clive? Got for another week. Archie, how about yourself? I've had a few relapses, okay? I've had a few relapses. You have to stop drinking to have a relapse. I had the dating side. I'm addicted to dating side. Sleazy casual sex. Lack of sleazy casual sex, to be completely frank and honest with you there. It's a uh, pretty... Pretty damn bad, Clivey Poo. It's pretty damn bad. No middle-aged bitches want to fuck anymore, Clive. That's the honest truth. No middle-aged bitches. Well, they don't want to fuck me. That's what I should say, Clive. They don't want to fuck me, Clive. But um, well, they want to fuck you, just not in the way you'd like. Now, now, what's happened to that rubber mattress behind you? What the hell is that thing? You got a doona on it? What the hell are you doing, Clive? Oh, um, it's just a... a I hope you clock. haven't cleaned the apartment. Clive, you know the rules. MG Toe. <laughs> no, I haven't, but I'm actually thinking okay. I'm going to start on it this weekend. I actually uh, did a, quite a bit of house cleaning at the office, so okay. felt kind of good. Okay. okay. Clive, I want to talk yeah. to you about love, okay? Love! I, I don't feel the same way. I'm sorry. You know, I'd like to keep this professional. Love, Clive! I really love my watches. Okay, okay. I love my watches. And I, I made a video I released yesterday about why I love my paddock world time. I love that watch, Clive. I love that more than most bitches I've slept with. I love that watch. It It is me, okay? okay. Well, you've had your fist in it a lot more times. Now, I mean, your hand in it. Yes. I've got to tell you, Clive, I really do love that watch. What watch do you love? Oh, that's a toughie. Well, you know, actually, I did kind of reach for the uh, Pam Zero. Mm, I'm still wearing the Bregster. I'm still wearing the Bregster today, the Bregster. Oh, that's nice. Leather strap? Yep, leather distressed strap with Breitling Double Jets buckle for coolness. Just your average black, black crocodile. But, you know, it's nice. Bait croc? Is it croc? No, real. Real croc. Combat straps. Combat straps. I've been telling you about them for a while. That kid does some fantastic work for the money. Mm. As a matter of fact, no, leather. Where is the other one? Oh, no, that's another leather one. You know, that's one thing about being a panorista. You really do actually kind of go overboard on straps at times. Oh, here yes. we go. Uh, nice little ostrich leg. Oh, ostrich leg. Now, tell me this, Clive. Um, I got to be honest with you. I really do love, I really do love putting straps on. What watch do you love in the Rolex forum there? What do you love in your Rolex arena? Well, I got to be honest. The no the, date uh, sub. No date sub. On the other hand, the uh, Clive has you've actually put a lot of your watches away in the safe in case the burglars are watching this, right? You don't have that them on that on that stand, the Archie Luxury stand. Where did I it's put? Oh, oh, so oh thank Archie God! Thank God! Watch. Thank God! I, I, didn't, I didn't want to say anything. Thank God, the artwork is still behind you. I was worried you'd cleaned it up. I thought, oh my God! No, it's still there. A bitch is moved is in. That's no, I'll save it till later. Now, tell me uh, this. What do you love in, in your Rolex? What do you love? What watch do you love? Love? Um, well, I don't know. I mean, um, golly. The two-tone bluesy is still a favorite. Which one or sings my... to you? Which one is the one? If, if you were going to die tomorrow, if they announced 
North Korea is attacking America. What watch would you put on your wrist? I wouldn't be worried. They don't have enough. They don't have enough warheads to target Oklahoma. No. Okay. It's like, oh, they, uh, how many warheads they got? 47. Phew. Thank God. Um, I don't now, know. Tell me this, Clive. Seriously. If you, um, which watch do you love? Do you have love for your watches? Yeah, I do actually. And the thing is, it's the nice thing. Like, is, is do about, you love your watches? Tell me this. Do you love your watches more than people? Yeah, but that's not saying much. <laughs> You're a defense attorney. <laughs> um, boy. Do you love watches, some of your watches more than the wives you've had? Well, they certainly annoy me a hell of a lot less. <laughs> Do you love I your mean, watches Rolex more than is, your previous Rolex girlfriend? Do you love your watches more than your previous girlfriend? Mm, toughy, toughy. There's different types of love, really. Yeah, real um, love. We're talking about real love. Toughy. See, um, I've got to tell so you, Clive. I've just got a real sense of contentment in my collection. I really, I really love my watches. I love them. I love them to death. I love my. Paddock, well time. That's just my holy grail. Super, super duper piece. No other gurus have that same paddock. Actually, not many gurus have a paddock at all. Right. That, that just goes to show how much Google Ads pays. The Reverso Grand Date, that is super cool. Super cool. The four watches four watches four watches speedmaster explorer 2 iwc and the breguet those four they are less than my paddock itself did you know that they're less than yes. my paddock slightly less slightly less not so much not not too much less and I got to tell you, they just make me so happy, man. I love them. I love these watches. I love my IWC. I almost, I could have sold it. I could have sold it. I, I decided not to. My Bregue, the Bregster. I love the Bregster. Okay. I really love the Bregster. Well, your IWC in a lot of ways has the same problem as my uh, transitional bluesy does. Mm -hmm. Maybe worse. What's that? Well, you know, the transition, it's, it's the purple sub. They only made it for four years. It was the older movement. I mean, uh, they transitioned from a four digit to the five digit. And so, you know, the first yeah, one, yeah, 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 yeah. but the, you know, the one, six, eight, oh, three, the trouble is they made the one, six, six, one, three for 20 years afterwards. And you really have to be a watch idiot savant to know the difference between the two. Yes. So even though mine was only made from transitional, only made for a very short amount of time in the eighties, mm -hmm. it's confused with all the ones that came after it. It's, it's not, mm -hmm. it's not different enough. You know, in that case, Rolex. But if you had the nipple or, dial, it would be different enough. I've got a nipple dial GMT. Yeah. I, you know, I, got I, love, I love nipples personally. Well, and gold. Well, yeah. And I could have got one in Arlington. Boom, boom. Uh, Exactly. I could have got one in Arlington for like 52. And I thought yes. about it. I really thought about it. But, you know, I've, you know, it, yeah. Clyde, love. The, I want to talk things, about love. I want to talk about love for your watches. Do you love your watches? Yes. Actually, I do. I admire them. I don't admire. Well, do I really love them more than people? Of course I do. That really doesn't say as much about the watches as it does about you, doesn't it? Mm. Just out of interest, I want to show you something, Clive. Do you, uh, see, do you see my my special stand? This is my stand here. Yes. The stand for my watch boxes here. This is my glass case. 
And I've right. even got my Omega Speed Master, man on the moon. My man on the moon is in this watch. What do you think of that? As a that's my display case. It looks like it, like maybe something like old medical instruments were kept in. Actually, it's funny you say that because it is. It is actually supposed to be nineteen fifties design. It actually came from IKEA. Okay. And you know who nice. else has one like this? They came in a Nordic, a Nordic person, white, green, and they also had a brownie, a, a brownie. I've gone for the darky gray. Okay. Houdinki, no Houdinki's, Houdinki's got the same cabinet in, in his, in his studio. Oh, nice. Houdinki, nice. you know, Houdinki, that's real, real reviews. Houdinki, the top end. He's got the same Ikea furniture that I have. Now I've got boxes and shit all around mine to, to, to you know, right. and sort of detracts and, from it there and wine bottles on the shelf there that I haven't thrown away. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But hey, hey, you gotta start somewhere, Bubba. You gotta start somewhere. Correct. Uh, are you anywhere near Omaha? <laughs> Omaha Two se uh Nebraska, I'm two states south, but they're they're western states, so they're pretty darn big. You know, Probably Warren Buffet lives there, doesn't he, in Omaha? Um, no idea. No idea. No idea. So James Garner was from Oklahoma. Do you, have you ever seen him around? No, he's from Norman, I think. Oh, okay. Um, someone made a little rascals reference on one of the comments earlier today or yesterday, but, uh, you remember the little rascals? Yes. Remember Darla? Yes. Lady, Oklahoma. I see. Yeah, actually, she was a next door neighbor of my great uncle and great aunt. Was she a nice person? Well, she was kind of, they moved to California when she was fairly young because it oh, was okay. the Dust Bowl. The Dust Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. So lived next I door to John Denver's parents in Clinton, you the Dutchendorfs. You lived next door to. John Dendry's John parents? Denver's. Yeah, Dutchendorf. How were they? Nice? Oh, yeah. The totally nondescript. You wouldn't... Yeah. Did you ever meet John Denver? No. I no, met John Denver didn't. as a kid. You really did? Yeah, in Sydney. In Sydney. In a, in a, believe it or not, in a building society. He was quite nice. He said hello. I always liked John Denver. Very clean cut. He got stiffed by, by a nasty woman in the end. You know that, don't you? Uh, I think he got stiffed by a nasty uh, uh, airplane. Airplane, man, in fact. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but, man. yeah, yeah, but but the woman stiffed. He had a very nasty divorce. Denver had a very nasty, which is unfair because he was such a cool guy. Right. Oh, uh, Glenn Campbell died. Yes, I'm a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> Da 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 da. Well, yeah, I mean, I, of course, it's no surprise. I heard he had he had the Alzheimer's for quite a while before then. So yeah, he was quite old too. He was in his eighties. People with Alzheimer's are generally elderly, as a general rule. You can have Alzheimer's in your thirties. You know that. It can start in your thirties. Is there something you want to tell us? <laughs> Clive, I love it. the comedy is great. Clive, I got to tell you, this has been great. Love, love for your watches. I love my watches. It makes me get up in the morning. I want to strap the Bregster on, the Bregster. I love right. my Bregster. I love it. I love it. I love my watches. I really love my watches. You know, the funny thing is I'm sitting here kind of making a middle note, doing the check mark in my head. Yeah. And one watch you hadn't mentioned, which yeah. I thought was rather surprising. Yep. Explore two. The polar. Right. You realize, like, people are watching this at work, right? Yep. And if people get busted on their jobs, they cannot send you twenty dollars for paid watch reviews. I see. I see. Well, you know. I see. Yes, yes, yes. And also, while we're at it, seriously, what's up with the intros and the outros on the channel? Like how? 
da 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 mumble 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 you say oh shit turn the volume back up but then you wander off and do something and then the outro comes on da da you know the sloppy sloppy word yeah okay thank you clive you're welcome i mean actually a lot of people have been a lot of people you've probably gotten people fired (laughs) and not and not even just for your content (laughs) clive love love for watches what love do you have coming any love you have there tell me about your love uh let's see i'm still waiting on news from the uh, 50s black dial breitling but i have to admit the more time that goes by the more my my interest wanes okay okay of course uber oak has got some uh couple of a uh, family member or two with medical problems obviously that should take priority yes clive i gotta tell you it's been a pleasure talking to you Let's wrap this baby up. It's been great having you on here. Thank you so much. Live show next week. Sure. Let's do that. And, uh, yeah, I love my watches. Right. You know, the other thing, though, that occurred to me is, Mm. do you still really feel justified in recommending a man on the moon considering right now they're flooding the marketplace? I mean, and, and don't get me wrong. I mean, don't get, don't get me wrong. Because you know, I the more I studied the design of it, it is, it is more of a tool watch. I think a chronograph. Well, look, look, I don't think the market is as flooded as you think. For starters, can you get one under two US on a bracelet? The used market, the used market no. Hmm. So on the I, other I hand, think they're still in that sweet spot there. Um, I don't know why Amiga. Buy- would you advise someone to get used or would you advise them to go like uh, online gray market? If you I mean, can get it they? so cheap, if you can get it so cheap, of co- you know, nothing wrong with buying newsed. Newsed, I like newsed. Uh, but I, I, I think they're still a great watch. Look, look, for how much are you going to pay for a Speedy? How much are you going to pay? How much are we talking, Clyde? 3500 New. Who from? German shop. On a bracelet? Yeah, on a bracelet. Is it, 3, no, is it, that is an absolute yeah. bargain. That's a bargain. Right. That's the bargain. That is an absolute bargain. Um, I, I paid under that for mine, okay? I'll tell you what I paid. Can I tell you honestly what I paid for mine? I'd rather you dishonestly tell me what you, I just, what you paid. I, I paid make 37 it... Aussie, right? So what's that like? 30, 35, 40 American dollars. I'll just, I will just convert it for you now. So you can, you can, you can, um, decide on this. So, okay. So I paid for mine 2,900 plus. Okay. Uh, I see. And I wonder, is that, yeah, but if it's a difference between five or six hundred dollars, brand new versus used mm. see the thing is you know, this I'm, when you say brand new do you mean with the big box the big huge box they're doing that for yep. 35 yep you sure well it's been a couple of days since i've checked i don't check every day but yeah that's amazing that is amazing that that that'd have to be a bargain i don't think you'd really lose terribly much <laughs> i mean if you the thing is this let me say this to you clive the thing is this It's like my Breguet and the IWC. You wouldn't want to buy it new at full retail. But if you buy it secondhand on the used market, you've already factored in that saving. What difference does it make? Well, you won't get a bracelet for a midget. (laughs) I know what you mean. then and that way you do get it's not that's not a whole lot extra pay for Actually, the new car smell. I have sent the bracelet back to Swatch Group and they're going to fit the links or organize the correct links for me, so that's fine. Okay. Um, look, I I would say look for five hundred bucks. If it was me, I'd probably go for the new one with the big box, and that also comes with a NATO too, I think, and a loop, doesn't it? Yep. 
See, I've got the old red box. Mine's box papers, but that is absolutely amazing. I paid 29 US. The market was a lot stronger, but um, I, I that's a Joma shop, is it? Yeah. Joma shop is like a huge gray dealer, aren't they, or not? Yeah, that's where I got my uh, JFK uh, JFK ballpoint, Mont Blanc. Oh, from Joma shop. Yeah, I love my JFK pen. Love that thing. Everyone who's ever tried that loves that pen. Pin? How do you mean pin? Pin. Ballpoint pin. Oh, the pen. The pen. The JFK one you wanted. No, I've got the JFK Mont Blanc. Uh, Not the limited, just the normal one. Okay, okay, okay. Let's uh, just having a look now. I'm just going on to Joma now. Shit. Okay, Amiga Speedmaster. Now, by the way, is Speedmaster it... Speedmaster Professional... This is amazing. Thirty three fifty at the moment. Oh, that's even cheaper, yeah. And that comes with the NATO. Bloody hell. And the big box. That is I gotta be honest, thirty three fifty amazing. That is why would you buy used? Yeah. And uh, actually one of the one of the people here in the uh, one of the pontiff heads over here in the Oklahoma Archdiocese. Yeah, uh, nasty vinyl, uh, nasty vinyl. Cody has yeah. been trying like he he still thinks he's going to sell his for like thirty one or thirty two. I'm like you're you're effing high. <laughs> what? <laughs> Gee, no. no, there's no way. No, that's that's a bargain. I I got to tell you that is absolutely that's a bargain. That is that is absolute. I can't believe they could sell it so cheap. That is that just shows you. <clears throat> I, I, you'd have to buy it new, Clive. I'm sorry. That that's. The, I don't think it'll be any cheaper than that. I I, I think myself, no. that is the absolute bottom. I, I I honestly don't see you getting them any cheaper than that. Um, <laughs> Clive, that is a bargain. That is absolutely a bargain. That's a bargain. Oh, and uh, to address a, a comment on the boards, hmm. Peter Kolb, I know exactly who Uberoki is. And that's a code word. Sorry, fuckers. <laughs> Clyde, thank you so much. It's next week. Absolutely. And, uh, chat to you later. Thank you so All much, right. Clyde. See you later, guys. Clyde.